I'm going to show you how to make this origami model. It's called a stellated octahedron, and you'll need 12 square sheets of paper. I'm using foil paper, which is left over from Christmas wrapping. I have 12 squares like this. What you'll need to do is to fold the paper in half, and then unfold it. Bend each edge to the middle and, sharp, and crease it sharply. Now, this corner, I'm going to bend down to this top crease. And then I want to take this slanted edge and bend it down to the same crease that I just used, being careful not to go past the crease right there. So now I'm going to just flip this over, turn it over, and do the same thing with this corner. The corner gets bent down to the top crease. This slanted edge gets bent down. Careful not to go past the crease. Flip this top panel down. And now I'm going to take this corner and bend it to the middle of the opposite side. Take this corner and bend it to the middle of the opposite side. This is a parallelogram. If I were to let it go, it would flop open. But I want to secure the parallelogram by taking this corner and bending it into this pocket. Same thing here taking the corner and bending it into the pocket. Now turn the parallelogram over so the smooth side is facing up. This corner is going to come to this place and this corner is going to be bent there. So this corner gets bent to the vertex of that angle. This corner gets bent down and I now have a square. I want to hold the square with my two hands and just bend it backwards so that the square becomes a right triangle. And when I let it go, it's wiggly. I need 12 of these. So I have my 12 pieces, and I'm now going to attempt to make the model. Now this is a little bit tricky. Um, so what you want to do is focus on one of these triangular pyramids, and we'll show you how to make that first. You take a piece in your hand, make sure that the smooth side is facing down and the side with pockets is facing up. This is a tab. This little triangle is a pocket. Insert the tab into the pocket and kind of pinch it with your fingers and then rotate this. Take your next tab, insert it into that pocket right there. And can you see this gold piece? I have to insert that into this pocket to make my first pyramid and to make it be somewhat secure. So there it is. So now I'm just going to keep rotating around by building more. And I'll put a green one here. And again, kind of pinch that shut and rotate. I'm going to put a red one right in this pocket and pull this tab out. Secure it in and I have two pyramids. Four pyramids surround any point in this model, so I'm just going to keep going. I will put a gold one here, and I will put a red one here. Now this gets a little slippery and tricky. I'll pull this out and stick it into the pocket. And now these pieces actually um, this tab goes right into that pocket to make your fourth pyramid. So you can see that you've got your four pyramids surrounding a point, but this is lacking support, so I need a red one right there. And once you do that, always take the tab from underneath and insert it into the pocket. And now we have to start building on the underside of the model. Okay, so this is just, it's, you know you have to have a lot of perseverance, and it's a little tricky, but you, you just want to hang in there. 
um, because this is where we're going to build our spatial reasoning, is by making this model and by not giving up. And we'll also build some de dexterity with our fingers. And so you keep going. <laughs> Here I need a green one. And then you need to kind of see where these tabs go into the pockets. Because all you have is 12. It's not, you can't make more than 12 pieces. Okay, we're almost done. I have one more piece to go. Yay, let's see. Here it is. And let's think about this. First of all, I can secure this down before I put the gold in. Oh boy. <laughs> the last piece is always a little tricky. So I can see where all these tabs go and the pockets that they're going to go into. We're just about finished. And what's nice about this model, that was so good for my spatial reasoning, I can take this apart and do it again just to build more spatial sense. Good luck with yours.